Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight for a track review. And sorry, I just got done eating a little dessert for a moment that I had for my dinner and all that. But basically, I'm returning to you tonight for, like I said, track review. And this is for Scorpions' new song, Seventh Son, um, that I just got done listening to this five and a half minute track so I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this new Scorpion song the classic rock band or whatever genre they specify in either it's classic rock or whatever and let you know my thoughts on it so let's dive into this review now I gotta say I was pretty impressed with this song yeah um, it's very lengthy of a Scorpion song, and in a good way, I think it structurally works. Uh, the lead singer's vocals sound pretty good in it. Um, more laid back in this track, and this is going to be on their new album, Rock Believer, which is coming out the same day as Bad Omens' his new album. The Death of Peace of Mind, and that's dropping February 25th along with this album, Rock Believer, same day, February 25th, so I'm very excited for that. They have a limited deluxe edition uh, that you can pre-order, but they want to charge $26 on Amazon, I'm like, get fucked, I'm like, no, I'm not paying 26 bucks. if I decide to... I'll have to have a good reason why, but most likely no. I would say no to that. Um, but yeah, this song was pretty lengthy. Uh, the chorus can feel a little draggish, but uh, in a way, I think the verses are pretty solid, and the chorus is pretty strong. It just depends on the listener, of course, because if you haven't listened to Scorpions that much, then, yeah, they're probably not the band for you. I haven't really gotten into all their discography. This is going to be their 19th studio album, a Rock Believer, and I thought it was going to be their 20th, but I guess I was wrong. I think it's the next album cycle that will be the 20th, if they decide to do that. Uh, but this song was pretty strong of a track. Um, I quite enjoyed it for what it was. So overall, I think uh, Scorpions' new song, uh, Seventh Son, was pretty good. Uh, oh, it has the word son in it. <laughs> um, I almost was ready to put on the video, uh, 7th S-O-N, but, no, uh, it's just 7th Sun, uh, the words S-U-N, so, I was about ready to put it on the video for S-O-N, and I was like, oh, fuck, don't wanna fuck this video up, and just to clarify on my Mary J. Blige album review, the song was called Failing at Love, or Failing in Love, or whatever it was called. I thought it was Falling in Love. I was mistaken, so please forgive me on that. But yeah, I'm about to score this song now. So overall, I think Scorpions' new track, uh, Seventh Son, was a pretty strong so single. I highly recommend you check it out if you're used to the slow rock kind of stuff that they're going for with this track, because it works. Uh, in my opinion, I like this song. So for a score, I'm going to give Seventh Son by Scorpions a 5 out of 5. Another good single from them. Um, I don't know if I'm sure about certain moments in the track, because they tend to have its lazy points but structurally i like the lyrics i like the guitar work the drum works pretty solid and following the same pattern as the guitar and the melody and all that so 
song works, I guess. Uh, so comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Scorpions track, Seventh Son, if you've heard it. And yeah, uh, sorry that I mentioned that I was going to change the title of the name of the, uh, of the track review that I'm doing for this video. It's just I thought it was Seventh S-O-N, but it's Seventh S-U-N, I meant to say, to recorrect myself, of course, because I saw it differently, I guess, um, I don't know, it's so weird, I, uh, but, yeah, um, sorry, I'm just having a pausing moment when I talk, but if you did enjoy this, uh, track review for Scorpion's Seventh Son, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it, tap a like on this video if you liked it, Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Sorry, I can't talk very well because uh, my tooth is like messing with my tongue or whatever. It's a sharpness uh, from my tooth. It's like a sharp edge that's messing with my tongue. It's really fucked up. So that's why I can't talk very well. Um, I can talk. It's just it's rubbing against my tongue or whatever so that's why I'm having a hard time talking a few little bit but hopefully I'll feel better soon so yeah I just wanted to mention that and let you know how I'm doing and other things like that and I'm doing pretty good today so it was a pretty solid Friday um but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this track review for Scorpion's Seventh Son. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I am so ready for the new Scorpion's album, Rock Believer. I hope it's a good one, because uh, it's coming out in two weeks, so it's not that far away. I'm hoping it's a good album. I know Guns N' Roses has an EP coming out the same day called Hard School. Uh, and I was like, I don't know, that might suck. But, and Avril Lavigne's new album, I um, have little hope of it being a success. But who knows, some pop punk albums can surprise you at the last moment. But it has a featured artist on her second song after Cannonball called, uh, I don't know what... It features MGK. That's all I can say. And Boys Lie or something like that. I don't fucking know. But anyways, I gotta end this track review by saying thank you so much for watching The Scorpions' uh, uh, Seventh Son track review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll have another video coming out pretty soon. So I'll see you in my next video.